Good evening, everyone. I'm Nick LaFay. And I'm Beth Jett. It is a celebration at the 148th Fighter Wing in Duluth. With the arrival of their new jets, base personnel are saying thank you to the people and community that support them. And that community is celebrating a continued benefit from the base's people and economic impact. Here is to the best fighter wing with the newest F-16s and the most talented airmen in the world. Here, here. The Block 50 F-16s keep the 148th on the job and signals the end of a roller coaster ride with the base's future riding shotgun. But if we didn't get the new planes, they'd basically have to close down the base. But those new planes did arrive, capping a renaissance that went from a slated closure in 2005 to the prestigious Raytheon Trophy and a jet flown by only one other Air National Guard base in the country. Today we are at the top of all United States Air Force F-16 wings. The $95 million impact provided to the surrounding community comes with a pledge from the congressional delegation which helped to secure the jets. We will add to the $70 million military construction funds invested over the last decade to keep this plant ready for whatever new mission comes your way. The Air Base's mission is now theoretically secure through at least the year 2025. And as they get ready to take their new planes out for their maiden flights, they're already thinking ahead to what planes might yet be next. What's next? Well, it should be the F-35s. Nothing is too good for Duluth. We'll get the lunar module here. The entirety of the 148's new fleet of Block 50 F-16 should be on base by the end of May.